Now, you may not even know it, but Requiem's full body avatars are actually out right now. Full body avatars is here inside of Rec Room, but does that mean that anybody has access to full body avatars as you guys see right here? Well, we'll talk about that later. Full body avatars is a new way to play Rec Room inside of Rec Room, and it basically just gives your normal bean character limbs. That's pretty much it. Now, other than the additional limbs and additional movement that I have with all my limbs and stuff like that, like my arms and stuff and my, my legs, as you guys can see, my toesy woesies, full body avatars also brings in a number of new customization menu options which are actually shown inside your mirror ui which is the customize button we'll also talk about how we handle our environment differently with full body avatars and like how we grab stuff and all that but that's for later in today's video let's talk about what we can customize real quick now inside the customization menu assuming you guys have full body avatars you guys will have some new ui most importantly, body type. And this is how you'll switch from bean body to, you know, full body avatar. This is my bean body, as you guys can see. And in beta, here is full body. I switched to it and I'm a full body now. If you guys don't remember, based on your skin color and stuff like that, you guys will actually notice differences to like your hands, for example. If you guys don't know, people that have a darker skin tone usually have lighter palms and stuff like that, IRL, and uh, people with a whiter or lighter skin tone don't really have, you know, distinguishable palm colors. Just how it works IRL, and Rec Room did a really good job at this representation, honestly. Brother, I got palms. Can you believe it? I got palms, brother. Next on our list is this little face UI. We have this new eyebrows and nose UI, as you guys can see. Now, both of these UIs come with a long list of features for eyebrows and noses and stuff like that. And to be quite honest, my personal favorite is like this bushy, deep, bold, you know, eyebrows here. Same with the noses and stuff like that, you have a wide variety of noses to choose from, but to be honest, mine is this nose. Now with these features, you guys can actually adjust them as well. With the nose, you guys can adjust the vertical position, which also kind of adjust your glasses on your face, which I thought was really cool. The eyebrows, you can also adjust them vertically and stuff like that. You guys can space them out and adjust their size as well. There is unfortunately nothing new for the hair UI, but if you guys go to the tops and stuff like that, you guys will see that this is the new way to customize inside of Rec Room. We now actually have genuine tops now in the game. And as you guys can see, with these tops, they actually have sleeves. Now Rec Room didn't implement the sleeves perfectly in my opinion, and it's kind of up to all the people that get full body avatars and stuff like that to leave your own community feedback. Don't forget that Rec Room is depending on you or, you know, people that get full body avatars so they can make changes if necessary. These changes could be like changes that might make the character look better or like bugs and fixes and stuff like that. You guys get my gist. But shoulder and back items didn't really change too much, and there's actually new bottom items as well. With the bottoms, you guys get the choices of basic pants, basic shorts, and black leggings, or leggings in general. At the moment, and I'm pretty sure as they, you know, barely release full body avatars and stuff like that, these will be the only bottom options we will have, but I would love to see, like, you know, ripped jeans in the future or something. And in case you guys are wondering, custom shirts actually look great on the full body avatar. Their sleeves look fine, the whole body looks fine, and to be quite honest with you, I like custom shirts better on full body avatars than I do on bean avatars. Now, at this UI where you guys can choose all your accessories and stuff like that, the only thing that really changed are the gloves because, you know, you have fingers now. So whenever you select a glove, you guys can either choose left or right as per usual, but they actually come with finger holes. You now you guys will also notice that the glove UI is a little bit different as you know, the sleeves are kind of facing a different way, look a little weirder and stuff like that. But that's just because you know, they're incorporating finger holes. Some of them do look a little funny though. I am very sad that these look funny as this was a part of my main outfit. So uh, I might have to change it. And for the last change on our actual UI are the shoes. Now the shoes also being new, just like the bottom Requiem has given us the option of sneakers, boots, and flats. These are obviously to, you know, kind of fit our characters and stuff like that if they're a girl, boy, or whatever they are. And uh, these are the three options we have. Requiem obviously has a lot of potential here as well, and we obviously want some form of sneakers or some sort of sandal, of course. But obviously, I'm gonna go with the purple shoes, and this is my full body avatar fit right now. Now, full body avatars pretty much interact with everything differently. It could be the way we grab stuff, the way we use stuff, the way we hold stuff. It's pretty simple. 
I can't show you guys everything in today's video, but I can show you guys a few things. Now let's go with some basic stuff real quick. If I go over here to grab this bucket, I will actually hold it differently as you guys can see. Now take this as kind of like a general rule of thumb with any sort of object or whatever, but if you guys kind of, you know, get it to where it's highlighted and stuff like that and you can grab it with your other hand, it kind of won't do that, but sometimes it'll fix on its own. So yes, Rec Room Physics are still a thing, but you know, Rec Room Full Body Avatars just kind of tries to hide that. They do it pretty well, but not well enough as you guys can see. Over here I have a cup and water and stuff like that, where's my cup at, there we go. And um, you know, this is how it looks like me pouring water with full body avatars. If you guys kind of see, my little fingies hold the dart a little differently as you guys can tell. Now ignore my laggy character and stuff like that, that's just a streamer camera bug. And it's literally only doing that on the recording and not in the actual game. So I'm not actually like going all crazy, you guys are just seeing me all crazy for some weird reason. Now onto some items that aren't inside the dorm room. Getting us started, we have the frying pan. This is how your brother holds a frying pan, if you guys are interested. And I mean, this is how I hold a marker, if you guys are interested in stuff like that. You guys can see that obviously I kind of like hold it markered with. I really do like that, that's some nice attention to detail there. Here's how I look holding the actual eraser, as you guys can see, I do hold it a little differently. Now I remember when I was split testing for full body avatars and stuff like that, they didn't have all these like actual grab animations and stuff like that, and it was kind of bare bones, so really glad that Reckham, you know, kind of chefed it up with full body avatars here. Next we have a mug and stuff like that, as you guys can see, my little pinky goes under the mug thing, that's actually so adorable, I'm not gonna lie. And as you guys can see, the reason why, you know, we hold the mug different now is so it kind of correlates with the full body avatars. This is how I'll hold like a beer bottle that's, you know, already broken and been drinking out of. It seems like I'm really about to throw this thing. Yaga! Honestly, I'm kind of mind blown right now. Kind of crazy that I'm genuinely holding the handle inside of Rec Room. Asked me a few years ago if I could ever do that and I would probably laugh in your face to be honest. They make it look like this when you guys hold the whip on full body avatars if you guys are interested in stuff like that. Hiya! This is how your boy is holding a flintlock. I'm pretty sure this is how you hold normally any pistol inside the game. Let me see. Here's kind of like the differences of how you guys hold the flintlock pistol and stuff like that. Look kind of similar to be honest. I do also notice my finger's not all the way on the trigger too. How does it look if I reload it? Oh wait! Yo! That's... Y'all seeing this? Tell me I ain't crazy. That's cool. But no, like the way like I... I grab it with my fingers like that. That's actually so cool. What the hell? Oh yeah, here's how I also grab the blunderbust if you guys are interested. I can still shoot it even though my finger's not on the trigger. So that's fun. But this is just super cool. That's so cool. Now shields, you know, are a little weird. Obviously you have to hold them like this so you can defend yourselves, but it would be cool if you kind of held it like this. You know what I mean? You hold it like this if you guys are interested. It's, it's just your fist in the middle. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I would have rocked with it being right here. I don't mind going like this. That would have been cool. Now, little rule of thumb and stuff like that. If you guys don't already know, you kind of automatically point whenever you're pointing at your UI and stuff like that. You do the same thing with full body avatars and it looks even cooler. Now, if we get a little close up on how I you know, kind of touch the UI there, I like how it looks and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. And that's like my little showcase showing you guys how you grab things differently inside of Rec Room full body avatars. But we can't talk about all the animations if I'm on VR. Now, full body avatars goes for VR players and screen mode players. Full body avatars on screen mode has its own new walking slash running animations, its crouching animations, its, you know, proning animations. I can go on and on and on and on, but it actually has a bunch of new and different things on how, you know, your full body avatar actually interacts with things on screen mode. And as you guys can see from the video I provided, it is actually different. Now, depending on if you guys find a screen mode full body avatar or a VR full body avatar, you guys will learn different things and stuff like that. But just kind of, you know, check them out, study them if you will. The dances on screen mode are actually a little bit cooler with the full body avatar as well. I'm a big fan of that. Climbing's also different, I'm pretty sure, but I don't think I got a clip of that, so silly me. But yeah, just so you guys know, full body avatars does not discriminate and will be available for VR and screen mode players. If you guys are interested on what's coming next instead of full body avatars or what the community wants from full body avatars, well, you guys can actually check out Reckham's own feature upvote website where they actually talk about exactly this. People from Reckham's community, just like me or you, actually go to Rec Room and tell them what they want to see with full body avatars, and Rec Room may or may not implement it. Now to our big question, now that full body avatars is out, who gets to use them first and how long will this beta last? 
Well, this question has already been answered by Rec Room inside their website talking about full body avatars when they announced their beta launch. From the section that says who gets to use them first, our veteran players. They continue to say on day one of the launch, full body avatars will be exclusively available to level 50 players. Not knowing if this will be every level 50 player or not, I'm not too sure, but then they continue on by saying we'll then start lowering the level requirement over time during the beta period. We're doing this because we want to gather feedback from our seasoned players first before extending the feature to players who haven't been in Rec Room as long. Here's how the first few weeks will go. We will roll out access to random groups of level 50 players to try the full body option. We know that random rollouts aren't anyone's favorite, but it really helps us get the best data around the quality of the feature so we can make informed changes. If it all goes well for the first few weeks, then we will roll out to all level 50 players. As we drop the level requirements over time, we'll roll out access to groups randomly to make sure everything is working well until we fully release the feature. If you guys are curious about how long it will last and why they're doing a beta period, Requiem has this to say. We recognize some areas of this new body type will still need some work. A bunch of outfit items need polish, the way grabbing looks and functions is still a work in progress, and some animations need love. There are a handful of features from Bean Bodies that we haven't implemented yet, like adjusting hat positions, customizing face and body shapes, and those are just not ready yet. Stay tuned for a future update where you'll be able to customize your body and face shapes beyond just picking from a handful of presets, full body holotars, scaling yourself up and down in the maker pen while in full body. Customs working on the full body option and full body VR tracking are also features that will not be available on day one. So if you guys are curious about full body avatars, finger tracking and body tracking and all that, well, we can't actually do that yet. Though we will be able to eventually, and I can't wait to be able to wiggle my fingers at you guys throughout the screen. This process of lowering the level requirement is, you know, what should actually happen inside of Rec Room. It's been confirmed more recently by a Requiem developer named Max Powers who actually works on full body avatars that if it all goes well with the split test, their hope is to drop to level 40 two to three weeks after the initial rollout. We will then have plans to drop level 30 two to three weeks after that. Then he will give us more updates here on how it's going and if they feel like they're on schedule. And to note, each time they drop a new level, they'll make full body avatars available to everyone in that previous level tier. And yeah, there's still a whole bunch of things about full body avatars inside of Rec Room that I haven't talked about inside today's video, though they are the most important ones and things that you should actually know. Full body avatars, by the time I release this video, is actually out, but only to the initial few level 50 players that actually end up getting it. So if you guys find a full body avatar inside your lobby, it's not a hacker or it's not anybody this time, but it's a genuine full body avatar. If you guys have full body avatars, please give Rec Room your feedback. That's what they need, and that's what they're, you know, trying to do these split tests for and whatnot. Of course, folks, enjoy the release of full body avatars, just as every Rec Room YouTuber has and stuff like that. And of course, I will catch you guys inside the next new big feature. I'm probably going to make full body avatars my main choice inside the game and stuff like that. I don't think I'll be going to the bean body because there's just so much to customize on this actual, you know, body type. So, uh, yeah, gonna stick with full body. We'll be reading your guys' comments, and be sure to let me know what hypes you the most about full body avatars inside of Rec Room. For me, gotta be the full body tracking. I can't wait to do that for sure. I can't wait to kick my legs at you guys. It's gonna be great. Ah, my little toesies, my little toesies. Anyways, anyways, I'm getting, I'm getting distracted here. I really do appreciate it if you watch to the end of this actual full body avatars news video. It really does mean a lot, and if you guys like this video, please feel free to like it. Or you may never ever get full body avatars. You really gotta get rid of Eiglin, though. Anyways, though, I really do appreciate you guys watching this far into the video, and if you guys haven't already, be sure to use code SKULL. It's SK0L, totally free, and you guys won't regret it. Or you guys can go into my actual profile and click that support button. Of course, be sure to subscribe, and without any further ado, Bro Fist.